My name is Sean Milton and I'm a Fire Investigation Officer for Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service. As the responsible person for your building, you must identify your individual residents' fire risks within their home. This could include hoarding, smoking and unsafe cooking. Physical and mental impairments will impact on a person's ability to react appropriately in the event of a fire. As you can see from the video, a fire can grow and spread very quickly. Fires in a normal residential property will stay contained to the room of origin in 90% of fires. In a hoarded home, this drops to 40%. If your residents are elderly or have several different health issues, you need to make sure plans are in place. As a scheme or housing manager, you must consider the following. Make sure personal emergency evacuation plans are current for any resident that would require additional assistance in the event of an emergency. These must be updated especially if residents are elderly and have lived in the property for many years. Their health can deteriorate over time. Make sure general emergency evacuation plans are current. You must ensure that all residents and staff are aware of the evacuation plan of the building. The building could have a stay put policy or a simultaneous evacuation plan. It is the responsibility of the manager to ensure everyone is trained and aware of the plan. The fire service can offer safe and well visits to residents. If you identify a resident that is a high fire risk due to unsafe smoking, hoarding or someone living with dementia or very poor mobility, a safe and well advisor can visit the occupier and advise how they can reduce their risk of fire. We do not write reports or enforce any legislation when visiting someone in their own home and we must have the occupier's consent. In some cases, we can provide fire retardant bedding or throws. We can leave fire retardant spray with a warden or manager. This can lower the risk of a fire starting if someone is an unsafe smoker. If a resident is hoarding, we can only advise on the safe use of electric storage and keeping escape routes clear. We do not provide a clearing service. Safe and well visits do not cover communal areas. This includes stairwells, corridors and the charging of scooters outside the property. These areas are the responsibility of the housing provider and should be detailed in the fire risk assessment. Again, make sure you're aware of your responsibilities under the Regulatory Reform Fire Safety Order 2005. Thanks for watching. More information can be found on our website under Business Fire Safety.